thanks for taking the time to watch Econ Tech Tips. Today we're going to be discussing how to install a set of spider gears in a standard open differential. This is amazing how difficult these little pieces can be sometimes, but we're going to make it a little bit easier on you with some helpful tips. Uh, when you're starting this out, you really need to know what you're dealing with. So spider gears is just kind of a blanket statement for what these parts are. The side gears or the axle gears or sometimes planetary gears are literally the ones that go on the side. The spider gears or the satellite gears go inside next to them and they rotate around them, kind of like a satellite around a planet, and so, uh, the uh, names there. But the cross pin shaft that goes through holds the spider gears in place and the little retaining bolt holds that cross pin shaft. But to get going, honestly, have a buddy. Grow a third hand, do something, because two hands is difficult, but we'll show you how to make it work. So when you're putting this together, your side gear thrust washer goes on first. That side gear is gonna go into the carrier hopefully slide into the journal. Sometimes it takes a little persuasion. Just give it a little push. It'll get in there. The second side gear, same deal. But if you don't have a really tight fit, you'll notice they just kind of fall right out. In this case, this is where that third hand or buddy is really helpful. But if you don't have that, get it in there and lay it on its side. What you're looking to do is line up the teeth so that you can take one of your spider gears along with the thrust washer that's tacked onto the back here and set it into the teeth there. You want it lined up so that it's even and straight up and down. Now you can set it on its side and do the same thing with the other side. So you're trying to get it lined up. Because if you don't have it lined up properly, it's not gonna line up with the holes for the crossman shaft. Now that everything is in there, you just rotate this whole assembly and then the thrust washers will actually hold themselves in place once they get into their little spots. Now that we've got this in its spot where it's supposed to be, you, all you've got to do is get the crossman shaft through the hole. You want to line it up, drive it in there. Sometimes it takes a bit of a dead blow to get it in. And then you're just going to put the crossman bolt in place and torque it down to the proper spec. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this Yukon Tech Tip on how to install a set of spider gears into a standard open differential. If you have any questions on this tech tip or any other tech questions, give us a call at 800-330-2206.